Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an author, speaker, and proud father. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Hello, ladies. Welcome to my spot. How many of you are hooked on romantic intoxication? Ladies, and that, that term came from uh, one of my mentors, Master Yao and Yama Chain Morris. He called it romantic intoxication. Because, ladies, you know what happens. You get that fine dude. You know what happens. And that fine dude, you know he have y'all like, he got y'all turned out. Shoot. Shouldn't even call him a fine dude. Call him a pusher man. <laughs> yeah, that dude's a pusher man. Got y'all going crazy and stuff. Got, shoot, he got y'all on a drug. Instead of tapping your arm, you tapping that thigh. <laughs> yeah, y'all know that's, that thing changes y'all because you know those hormones kick in. You got that oxytocin, those endorphins, everything. He's that feel good. You get addicted and everything. Shoot, it'd be scary if men actually understood that. But you know the bad guys do anyway, but yeah, we'll work on that. <laughs> but how many of y'all hooked? Because you know how it is. In fact, uh, anybody who follow me know I talk about Mr. Goodbar, that guy who got y'all going crazy. Let's be real. Mr. Goodbar, he just bringing y'all that drug. And any man bringing you that drug and stuff. And see, if he's a good man, that ain't a bad thing. Shoot, you lucked out. But, you know, a lot of them are some bad guys and stuff. And got y'all hooked and stuff. Got you doing stuff. Got, got, you, got you disliking them and stuff. And you trying, and you got a roommate and he call and stuff. She, you be like, I ain't going to leave. I'm going to leave him alone. As soon as he call, you steadily talking trash about him, putting those clothes on. Going over the midnight and stuff. Got y'all going crazy and stuff. Doing drive-bys at his house at 1 in the morning. Shoot, he out of the blue call you up, talking about what you doing. And you be like, well, I'm just here. I'm about to go to bed. I'm about to come over. Well, if you want to, knowing you be getting in the sink, washing some parts of you, you know? How many of y'all hooked on it? Well, how many of y'all want to admit to being hooked on it? Seriously, because there's some serious thing. You know, share your story. Share your commentary in the description box. Now, let me say something real quick, because I know a lot of men listen. Y'all say something. Any fella say something, I'm just deleting the comments. If y'all notice, I usually do that anyway, but especially for this one. Let the ladies talk and don't judge. Because it's a serious thing, though. Because especially for y'all, uh, for the ladies. Now, let me get back to the ladies. Ladies, think about something. You know how it is. You get that fine dude. He got everything you think of as fine. Shoot, down to his hair gray, complexion, shoot, his length of his joint, everything. And he he can yeah, he spit that he spit that spit that sweet game at you. All right? And you be like, yeah. But you know, it ain't good because, you know, you know, you find out something about him you ain't liking. Like he's sharing it with other women and you ain't you ain't in a sharing mood. Or you find out he a little crazy, something like that. So you decide, you know what? You're going to leave him alone. You're going to leave him alone. You break up from him. You find a way to get away from him that don't involve a uh, restraining order. Sometimes it involves a restraining order and you still don't leave. All right, you you go, you go, good to go there, right? And then, you know, you find a genuine good, good man who got some intention, good intentions for you. But he ain't bringing the drug. He ain't getting that good feeling. You you ain't speaking in tongues like making contact with the great pumpkin. All of a sudden, and you you trying to make it work with this guy, but all of a sudden another guy come in. He giving you that drug again. And, and ladies, you know what? I'm gonna tell you what. And this ain't to jump on you because I know some guys are here and say, "Why well, yeah, they should?" No, look, I know because it, it's in your chemicals, it's in your body chemistry and everything. We gotta deal with that. <laughs> That's just a reality. In fact, good men need to learn how to deliver it. Instead of complaining, good men need to learn how to deliver it. But 
ladies, let me know some stories and share some stuff with a brother. You know? Share some stuff. And share, you know what, too? Especially share if you were able to break that addiction. Share what you did to break that addiction and find a good man. Especially some of y'all ladies. I know some of y'all ladies found a good man who might not have brought that same level of intoxication or any intoxication, but it was a good man. You found a way to work it out. I want seriously, I want to hear about it. You know, because that's the thing. And you know what, too? That's very important because nobody's talking about that out here. Everybody's talking, have y'all noticed out here, everybody talking about er everything else. And people talking about some stuff that don't even matter, even on the men's and women's side, talking about money, all this stuff. Can't figure out why this woman's with this guy and they think, well, he got some money, he got this. Nah. You, he, hey, he gave you a little bit of that drug. He put some on his pinky, gave you a little bit, gave you just enough to want you to come back for more. And then you back. And like I said, if it's a good guy, hey, that ain't a bad thing. Shoot, you in heaven then. But let's be real. You know how it is. Shoot, you be like, walking, going to, going places, trying to get that hit. You know? And it's, it is such a powerful thing. I mean, honestly, it's a powerful thing. And it's, it's kind of bad that no one's talking about it enough. You know, because that's what it all come down to. That's the whole point. That's the whole point of Mr. Goodbar. The men who I call select can at least deliver a minimum amount of that romantic intoxication. They can at least deliver a little bit of it. And then you got some good guys can't deliver it at all, but they genuinely good guys. But let me know what y'all experience with it. Let me know. Hey, and even if it ain't you. Talk about some of your legitimate girlfriends who've gone through because y'all know y'all done seen it. Y'all know every, every woman know they got at least one girlfriend. They were like, why is she with that guy? Y'all tried interventions, everything. And she still ran back to him. You know? She couldn't help it. She had to, she, she had to get that fix. So it's a serious thing. It's a serious thing. Like I said, there's no shame in it or anything like that. It is what it is. And I think... Just in general, when we talk about relationships, like even in like in bigger venues and everything, people need to talk about that because it is chemistry. It is chemistry. And we need to talk more about why our chemistry drives us to do certain things. And we really do. I mean, it is what it is. Once we start facing it and stop uh, running from it, running from the reality, things will change for everyone. So anyway, let me know. And once again, to the fellas who listen, don't comment. Don't comment. I will, I will, I will, I will delete your comment because this is the woman's channel. I want to hear what they got to say, okay? So anyway, I'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.